welcome back. It's one of our favorite parts about Tuesday. We get to play What's It Worth with Dr. Lori. It's our antiques appraisal game, and this is so much fun. We get to ask Dr. Lori to tell us the value of items sent to us by you. Yeah, Dr. Lori picked five of the items from the PTL mailbox. So play along with us as we try to guess what they're worth. And first, we want to welcome back Dr. Lori. Great to see you, Dr. Lori. Happy New Year. Great to see you. Happy New Year. And for your big first night event, I want you to have a couple tips. We always have fireworks. These are my matchbooks, but we always have fireworks because the idea of fireworks goes all the way back into the ancient time, even earlier than Pompeii at 79 AD. And basically the idea of fire was to cleanse for the new year. So that's why we always have fireworks. So there's your little tidbit for when you're on, on uh, camera on New Year's Eve. And thanks for doing that for all of us. That is fascinating. Yeah, I, I know. The knowledge that you drop on us, Dr. Lori, every week. We appreciate <laughs> every it. Every week. Okay, so we are going to get first. Terry sent us a picture of a vanity scent. Yeah, this is Terry's vanity set. And it's made of French ivory, which is an early celluloid or plastic type of, um, of element, composition. Uh, in terms of the materials, and it's a very, very expensive and complete vanity set. It has a hair receiver. That's the thing with the hole in it where you, draw, you brush your hair and you put the hair in it, and then you go and make macrame um, little <laughs> designs and gifts with it. It's got a powder box. It's got um, a boot hook so you can put on your boots. It's got, of course, a mirror and a trinket box and a tray and all kinds of stuff. So it's really quite complete. It's early 1900s. And it's made of French ivory, as I said. And you said expensive. Mm -hmm. I heard that key word there. Mm -hmm. It's extensive. There's a lot of it. Oh, oh, that's different than expensive, which is what I thought you said. I'm not, I don't make it that easy for you, Heather. Now, the, the, it was a gift in 1917 to a member of her family. Oh, wow. Now, the, the fact okay. that it is so extensive and all the pieces are there, <laughs> I mean, d d that has to make it more valuable that all the pieces there are go. there, right? There you go. That's right. Extensive e equals expensive. Oh, see? No, it I don't. Can. It can. <laughs> and I've never even heard of a hair receiver before, but I've seen. So you're talking about that little dish in the front with the hole in the top. Yeah. Yeah. You brush your hair 100 strokes. You take all that hair out of the brush. You shove it into that little hole. And then when you're ready, you take a pin and you lay out all of the uh, you lay out all of the hair strands and you macrame or you basically weave something like a watch fob or a bracelet or a necklace with it. This is mind blowing. Oh, to how me. we have like, evolved I as did human not beings. Know that ever happened. <laughs> I know oh, yeah. I'm getting you for Christmas <laughs> next year. <laughs> it's gonna take a long macrame time. Macrame all hair. of my loose yeah. ends. And then, all right, we, you we, know, we, the gray hair would be a different color, <laughs> the yellow hair would be a different color, the whole thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. All, all right. right. I'm not I don't I don't know. We're I we're not know. getting any clues this week, are we like under five hundred dollars or no. anything? Okay. Got lazy. Get back to work. Okay. All Ooh, right. That was your Christmas present. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I have a guess. Okay. What are you saying? Two seventy-five. I went four twenty-five. One hundred and fifty dollars for all of it. Remember, it's an early plastic right. material um, count. I still thought it was. I heard right. that part. But as extensive as it was, it was an early plastic. The hair macrame ball was what <laughs> threw me. Like okay. That <laughs> must be <laughs> worth big bucks. <laughs> All right, so Jeremy has uh, a painting, and it, I, I'm gonna say Gaston. Is that how you pronounce that? Okay, see, so you're you're worried because of Roger from last week. I <laughs> am. I was scarred. <laughs> it's Gaston Petricus, Petricus, and it's a very nice piece, and it's nicer than this image allows. But you know, that's the image that we got. But it's a very nice piece by a relatively well-known artist, and it is signed. It's a landscape in his characteristic and mature style. So this is a this isn't like a reproduction. This is a painting. This is the No, act. it's an actual painting on canvas. And when I say it's in his characteristic and mature style, that means that it's not an artist trying something new. It's exactly what the mm -hmm. artist and what the art historians and the critics would look for if you're looking at a work by this artist. So that's important for value. Is it in a frame? I believe it was not in a frame when it was sent to us. I did not see a frame. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm going big. And I don't even, this might even not be big enough. Go big or okay. go home. <laughs> you heard it from Dr. Lori. What are you saying? I'm saying 300. I went 3,500. Worth $500. Oh, um, see? Well, <laughs> a little too big. <laughs> but Sorry, I admire Jeremy. your chutzpah. <laughs> 
back. All right. Stay Go right there, it. Dr. Lori, because we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be back with more items that Dr. Lori has chosen from the PTL mailbox and we'll find out what they're worth.